Hey guys, Mark from Guitar Guts here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the strings on a guitar with the Floyd Rose Bridge. A lot of people are intimidated by this, and it's really not that hard once you've done it a bunch of times, and really I'm going to show you a bunch of tricks to make it pretty simple and pretty quick, and I'll talk you through it as I'm doing it. Right when I finish this, I'm going to do it as quick as I possibly can in another video, so check the description down below if you want to see me go as fast as I can, not really talking through it, and I think I can do it in like five minutes. So we'll see actually how quick I can really do it. But um, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be working on this LTD MH1000. And it's important to have the tools that you're gonna be using ready. You don't really need that many, but to have the right tools, will just make the whole thing go quicker if you gather them all. Or if you have like a little toolbox, I recommend setting up a little pack or something that has these kinds of tools. So you want a, a string winder um, I also have this drill attachment string winder. This is something I use and it makes it way faster. If you're doing it these all the time, I recommend checking out that. Um, a good pair of wire cutters, something real thick like this. You need the correct Allen wrench for the uh, Floyd Rose locks and the bridge. And of course some strings. And it's important to know the strings you're buying because some people just go buy random strings and don't pay attention to the gauge of the string and you need to use the same size gauge that you were using before or else the, the bridge is not going to sit level. It's going to come up or down depending on if you go with a lighter or a heavier gauge because the springs in the back and the strings need to be set up together. So that's a whole other thing and I'll go into that in another video if people want that. Um, but for now, make sure you stick with the same strings. And then also I like to have like a guitar polishing towel of some sort. And that, that's kind of a little trick. I'll show you why in a second. So we're going to start by unlocking the nut up here first. Take those all the way off. And then with the whammy bar on, I like to do that with the whammy bar on because I'll push the whammy bar down towards the body, get the string super loose and floppy like that. And then I'll loosen all six of the guitar strings at once while there's no tension on them. And then give them all a little extra turn and pop the strings out while you're holding the whammy bar still and then just gently let it come back. But before you let it come all the way back, it'll come too far, put the soft guitar towel back there. So that'll keep it level. Now coming back up to the headstock, I'll unwind the strings real quick. Looks all messy and crazy. And I don't like to pull the whole string through. So what I do here is I'll take the cutters and I'll cut the strings like right here. Cause I don't like to pull like a, you know, and grind these strings through your nice hardware there. And then you pull the, the ball side or whatever you have up at the headstock. If you don't, if you, some people cut the ball off, some people leave it on, I leave it on. Then you take all the strings in your hand together and kind of wind them up into like a circle because it's terrible to have these things hanging out of your trash can and poking and stuff like that. So and you just kind of braid them around each into like a circle. And then now that'll kind of fit in the trash can. Okay, cool. So now make sure that you don't like move the, the bridge around or turn the guitar over because the blocks are all loose right now. And now it's time to open the strings up. And you just start putting them on one by one, 42 in this case is the low E. So I use the, uh, the ball side, I just leave it on up there at the headstock. We'll feed this all the way through and then I kind of put the string in between the, the fine tuners down here to keep it in a straight line because I put all the strings on before I cut them. So then I'll put the 32 on next, the A string.
Now it's important to make sure the strings aren't crossing back and forth when you're bringing them all the way down. Make sure they're just coming straight across and laying flat or else they're going to get tangled up with the other guitar strings. And when you go to tighten it down, you're going to have to loosen everything back up and do it again. So make sure they're all laying straight. Okay, now coming down here to the bridge, bring our cutters and the strings are going to insert into the blocks here. So um, I'll usually cut them like right around here, right past the screws, I guess. Or right at the screws, that looks good. Cut all those off, throw them all away at once. And then just one by one, make sure everything's straight from down at the other end. And insert our strings. I could tell you right now, this low E doesn't need to be that long. That one will end up coiling around a few times at the top then, if you leave it too long and it'll look kind of ugly, so. Insert the string. Push the bar back down, lift the, way, the back of the Floyd Rose up. And then tighten down our block. Bend it down and go on to the next string. All right, now we got all the strings in, the screws are tightened. Coming back to the headstock, you have to have at least one of these manual winding devices to where you go to, to wind your strings on and you're not turning your tuners by hand because that would take forever. I couldn't imagine doing that anymore. But even better than this is this. This is made to go inside a drill and I'll demonstrate. All right, so I got it loaded into the drill. And the weird thing is uh, with strings, they actually go the opposite way. So like loosening on the drill is tightening the string. So that's one thing to remember. But you can just go right down the strings. All right, all the strings are now tightened and time to tune. You should remove the towel from the Floyd Rose now. I forgot to do it and it turned out to be okay, but it should be removed now. All right, now Floyd Roses take forever to tune. That's the part that does take a while, but not that long. One of my tips for that is to stretch out the string. So don't get crazy and pulling them super tight, but Put your hand, uh, your left hand on one side of the string towards the neck and then pull up on with your right hand. So as you go, kind of just pull up and give the string a little stretch. Always go back to the G. For some reason, that string never stays in tune. I don't know if it's because it's so big, but it's not wound, so maybe it's just like unstable and slippery or what, but give that one an extra good pull too. Okay, now let's tune it up again. That one didn't go too crazy. That one didn't go insane. That one went pretty far. And you don't have to focus on getting it dead on the first couple times because as you move one string, all the other strings adjust slightly on a Floyd Rose until everything's stabilized. So just get it within like one or, you know, a dot or something. Don't spend a bunch of time with the fine tuners getting it super, super, super accurate the first time, couple times through. 
See, we're getting pretty close to now. And you could even overcompensate. So see the E and the A string have been a little bit, um, they keep turning, going flat. So I'm making them a little sharp, extra sharp each time. So then the next time through, maybe they'll land right where they need to be like that. A is even a little sharp now. Bring it down, D's a little sharp. All right, so that's it, not too bad. Then remember just to replace your uh, locking nuts up on the neck before you start really playing because using, especially if you use the whammy bar or something, that's really gonna knock it out of tune. Should have taken that out earlier, but it's still fine. I didn't have it in there. I had it in there so it was sitting level and, and we're good, so. One other trick when uh, changing the strings that I like to do, especially since I have so many guitars and I don't get a around to changing the strings as often as I should. And I leave them out on wall hangers and on stands. So the strings get oily, they sit out for a long time, they don't get changed often. I use GHS Fast Fret, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but um, I've been using this stuff for a long time and it comes with this like weird little applicator thing, whatever you would call this, and in the bottle and then it comes with like a little soft towel. So you just run it on the strings all the way up and down. Actually, no, not, not over the pickups. You don't need to put it down there. I guess you could because uh, it kind of oils the strings. So maybe you put it everywhere. I don't know. I usually don't. But, uh, and then you take the little towel and just wipe off like kind of if there's a little more than you need. This will bring it down to the right level. You'll notice the strings feel a little more slippery when you use this stuff but also makes your slides up and down the neck a lot more comfortable and easy. It makes your fingers feel better, you know, interact easier with the string itself and uh, keeps the strings clean. So if you do that regularly, your strings will last a lot longer too. All right, um, that's it. If you enjoyed this, check the description and let's see how fast I could do it if I really, really try to speed my way through it. I'll grab another guitar, another set of strings and let's, head on over there. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button also, comment down below and give my channel a follow, a subscribe, whatever it's called. <laughs> thanks. See you later.